This is the Bitax Gamma 601 Bitcoin Miner. It is a plug and play device specifically for at home use that is changing the game in home crypto mining. Not only is it easy to set up, it's also whisper quiet and uses next to no electricity, meaning you have no ongoing running costs. Best of all, if you hit a block worth 3.12 Bitcoin, you could be walking away with 300,000 US dollars. Let's check it out. So what exactly is it? Well, we can see here it says it is a solo miner. So this is solo mining Bitcoin. Slightly different to if you were mining traditionally where you would get paid a percentage of the block that is found as far as a reward is concerned. If you find the full block with a solar miner, you get paid the full reward, which is absolutely massive. So Bitax have come out with a number of different releases. This one we're looking at today is the 1.2 terahash model. And let me tell you, for such a little device, it's seriously packs a punch. We've previously had a look at its little brother, so to speak, which is the 401 Supra, which is only around 600 giga hash. So what they've managed to do with the Bitax Gamma is double the hash rate, doubling your chances of hitting a Bitcoin block. So some of the easy little specs on it here, we can see they are super, super easy to use. You can set it up on your phone or your PC in minutes. We'll go through that in just a minute. It runs off Wi-Fi. It makes little to no noise. So you won't even hear this thing, particularly with the fan upgrade. It's whisper quiet. And let me tell you, these things are a lot of fun. It's like entering the lottery every single day without having to keep purchasing tickets. You buy it once, you set and forget. And then who knows, one day you wake up and you've hit a Bitcoin block. So how exactly do you set this up? Well, they're very easy from a physical standpoint. You simply slot in the barrel plug, plug it into your wall outlet, turn it on and it will start sending out a Wi-Fi address. You then jump onto your phone or onto your PC, search for available networks in your Wi-Fi and the bit axe will pop up within a few seconds. It's super, super fast. So we can see here the bit axe 9C59 is what we're going to click on. That will then connect. It will take about five to 10 seconds. Then once you have clicked on that settings cog, you will see an option for auto connect and manage router. Click on manage router and it will take us to the dashboard. Okay, so once you have entered into the dashboard, this is what it will look like. So we're here on the operating system, it's called the XOS and this is our main page. So a few things to go through here, we can see it's telling us our current hash rate, which is 1.14 terahash. We can see this has sort of spiked up and down over the last couple of days. I've had it on and off. I've been moving it in different rooms, all sorts of things like that, but it will sit at around the 1.2 terahash, which is what to be expected. 18.47 joules per terahash currently. This is basically a conversion of how much power you're using to get how many terahash or the hash rate that it's giving. Scrolling further down, we can see the power consumption, 21 watts, right? So this is next to nothing. This is like running a couple of light bulbs in your house. You're never gonna notice the power draw on this thing. And we'll have a look at what it equates to in actual dollar terms a little bit later. Some more information as we go through here. It's showing us our ASIC temperature. This is how hot it's running, but these things have auto fans that I would just set and forget, let them do their thing. It's not really something you need to worry about. They're optimized to make sure they're running at an efficient and cool temperature. Down in our next tab, we've got Swarm here. So this is basically just showing us a list of different miners that we have on here. We can see my Bitax Super, the 401 down here as well, you know, 582 uh, giga hash. So half as much hash rate as the 601, which is really, really nice. We've got up to about two terahash close to at the moment for only 34 watts. 
As far as setup is concerned, when you first log in, you're going to want to set its own host name. I've just called it the Bidax Gamma 601. For ease, you're gonna enter your Wi-Fi address and your Wi-Fi password. Now you're going to need to save that and then restart it. Otherwise the changes won't take effect. And this will then be on your network, easy for you to find. You can identify it through uh, your wireless devices, your router, a number of different places there. The next very important step, obviously, is to enter in your own Bitcoin wallet address. Now, if you're looking for any more information on where to get a Bitcoin wallet address, I'll leave a link or a card up above so you can click on that and it will show you how to set up a wallet. Very, very easy. But you're gonna copy and paste your wallet address here, put it in and save and restart again. Now there are default pools that it will come with. You can just use one of those default pool addresses. I've changed it just to have it sitting on the same pool as my other. And it also has a fallback pool address here as well. So if the original pool was to go offline, it'll back up to this next one and you'll still be solo mining. Moving down, we can have a look at more of the internals here. We can see the logs. Now, this to me looks like just a bunch of numbers, not necessarily something you're going to need to worry about, but if you're interested in that sort of stuff, you can check it out there. It's basically telling us our uptime model, shows us that we're addressed and uh, connected to the Wi-Fi, you know, the version number, all that sort of stuff. Now, if you did want to update your firmware, you can go over here onto the settings page down here in latest release, click check, and it will check for the latest firmware. The current latest firmware is 2.5.1. So we're all up to date here and the machine is hashing away very, very nicely and just increasing those chances day by day of hitting that solo block. Now, like we said, these things are super, super efficient. So at the moment, running at around 18 and a half joules per terahash. This is on par with some of the most efficient Bitcoin miners, big boy ASIC miners that you can buy on the market, but obviously for a lot less power. Now, some of the costs involved in some of these miners can be anywhere from, you know, five to 15,000 US dollars just to make yourself a few dollars a day. So it's a really, really big venture. You have to put up a ton of capital just to make a few dollars. So I feel like solo mining, while you're not gonna be making that daily income, the risk averse reward is absolutely off the charts when you're comparing it to some of these similar efficient ASIC miners. One of the best things about these Bitax solo miners is also that they use next to no electricity you know we have a look on a calculator here working at our kilowatt hours per day per week per month this is at 10 cent kilowatt hour electric rate uh us dollars we can see it's costing us a dollar 53 a month or 18 dollars and 41 cents per year to run next to nothing right this isn't going to be something you're going to write home about as far as cost now, of course, everyone is in a different situation, but if you're in a position where you're looking to purchase one of these, I wouldn't imagine $18 a year is an ongoing cost factor that you're gonna be looking too deeply into. Having a look here at the actual probability of winning, over here looking at a solo luck calculator and specifically Bitcoin, as of course we are mining Bitcoin with this Bitax Gamma. So we've entered our hash rate 1.2 terahash and we can see per day we've got a one in around four and a half million chance of hitting a bitcoin block up to three hundred thousand dollars more than that usd at all-time highs around twelve thousand one in twelve thousand a year and the current winning value with the uh price of bitcoin down slightly now is just under two hundred and seventy thousand dollars so Look, a one in four and a half million chance sounds very, very low, but this is every day. You're literally hitting a Bitcoin block, one in every four and a half million people that are mining. You're entering the lotto every single day without having to buy a ticket. So I think these are a really, really good, just set and forget, uh, you know, solo mining venture. It's a bit of fun, you know, logging into your wallet, seeing if you've actually hit a block. 
And let me tell you, people hit blocks with these things all the time. You know, if you go on Twitter, if you go on, you know, any sort of websites there where they're showing where the blocks are hit, these little Bitax solo miners are hitting them crazy, crazy amount for such a small terahash, you know, with such a large, large network terahash um, or equihash in this case, which is just astronomical. So you know maybe a good little uh present for yourself or someone you know if they're into that sort of stuff but i think this is a, a really really cool little thing to look at you know one in twelve thousand a year that doesn't sound too bad when you compare it, one in twelve thousand a year to one in four million a day i don't know somehow my brain likes the sound of you know the one in twelve thousand better but to each their own so the bit axe gamma 601 solo bitcoin miner really really cool little device in my opinion i'm planning on growing my uh, solo bitcoin mining farm a little bit more with uh with grabbing a few more of these just to increase my odds you know ever so slightly you know we said one in around a four million chance per day you know if i you know buy five of these things spend a thousand bucks on it for instance i could be dropping that down into less than one in a million still still a very long shot but you've got to be in it to win it people are buying lottery tickets every single day why not try something like this that is going to wrap it up guys let me know if you're interested down in the comments in grabbing one of these and i'll see you in the next one peace